and welcome to this video. Today we are going to do this wonderful look with this new palette that I have bought. This palette I show you in my last video, my biggest haul. It has nine different eyeshadows and here is how it looks like. It has two contour colors, it's these two, this one and this one. It has two eyebrow colors and two highlighters, these two up here. The only thing this palette miss is a blush, I think. This palette is perfect to travel with, but I still miss a blush or two colors, different blushes in here. Big, wonderful mirror. I did try this palette before and, not before, I tried it yes, like yesterday for the first time and I liked it. So if you want to see how I did this look and what colors uh, did I use, Please keep on watching, don't forget to give a thumbs up if you like this video and don't forget to subscribe. So welcome back. Now I do have my foundation and my concealer and I did set my foundation and concealer with a powder. And yeah, let's try this palette. I'm going to contour my face and uh, do easy makeup looks. I think I will start using this color. This palette has a great mirror so I can use this. As you can see it's very pigmented. So let's blend that. I do like it. I do really like it. Let's do my nose a little bit. Not too much. Now this brush is kind of too big but I can't find my smaller brush for contouring. It looks okay. Like I said in my video, my biggest haul when I show you this palette, this palette miss doesn't have any blushes in so I will use one of my favorite blushes it's fun ending by MAC and this is how it looks I really love this blush I use it almost every day going to try the highlighter in this palette and I can't really decide which one I will should try if I should try this more gold looking or this more pink pinkish color I think I will um, definitely try this pink, more pinky one this is how they look on my hand can you Let's try this pinky one, pink one. This is a very good highlighter. I like it. I like the highlighter and now let's go over to the eyes I did put already um, primer and also the paint pot just to cover all my veins and redness on my eyelids and now I'm going to zoom you in guys now let's begin as our transition shade we will we're going to use first this the light one this one and you can take blending brush that you have and like And this will be the lighter version of our transition shade. We are going to use the dark one too. Now let's 
let's use this shade as our trans transition shade too. I can't talk today. Uh, this one blends very very well as you can see now because I have hooded eyes I'll always think about uh, taking my transition shade a little bit higher than my crease just to open my eye a little bit more <laughs> change the brush and take uh, the smaller blending brush and we are going to use let's use this purple one the dark one and blend that to into the crease take our blending brush again and now without any eyeshadow try to blend these two colors and I really really like this palette eyeshadows are very easy to blend and very pigmented too to do is to go in with the other brush again and just and again go over with the blending brush and just blend the edges take more of that purple darker color and just put more of it on here and uh, now I think we are going to take this shimmery one can you see this color over here and take a flat brush and put that all over I lead. take a small brush and take that purple color that we had in our crease as a tra second transition color and put that under clean this 
brush and then I will take this uh, highlighter again and just take that this one the highlighter color and take that in the corner of my eye and about mm -mm. And then of course, take my blending brush again and blend. Now when you come to this step, you can do an eyeliner if you want to. I won't do that just because I'm not an eyeliner girl and I often don't do that. But I will uh, put my mascara on, we can see the finished look. lips I have this uh, matte lip pen from ALF that I also show in my last video uh, in the my biggest haul and this is tea rose color tea rose I really like this color and I did set my makeup with this stay setting spray so let's go over to the palette I do like the contour color I really like it and I think it's very easy to blend and you can build it up I do, I love eyeshadows. This look looks amazing, really. Let's take a look on the. It comes with a big, big mirror. And we did use this lighter color in our crease all, and all over the eyelid. Then we took this light um, purple color uh, in our crease. And then we took this darker purple uh, in the crease two and here on the half of my eyelid and then we took this gorgeous shiny color on my eyelid too so I like this look I like how it turned out I did try this palette yesterday and I really really liked it I think these eyeshadows are really easy to blend and very pigmented and easy to build up and they stay long on my eye oily eyelids. I really have oily eyelids. It's almost impossible for me to have and find an eyeshadow that will stand during the whole day. Uh, I really haven't even found a primer that works for me as well. Now I do use a paint pot but I use it over primer just because uh, it doesn't make my eyeshadow stay longer at all. It makes my veins and my redness on my eyelids disappear, but it really doesn't work as a primer for me. I have really oily um, eyelids, so I really like this look. Don't forget to subscribe and please give a thumbs up or thumbs down. It depends how you feel about this video. But if you want to see more of these kind of videos, don't forget to subscribe. Bye!